Right then, you join me in the shed again. Because, as promised, I'm, I was going to do an updated video showing all my stuff in much better detail than you saw it last time. So we take a step back. Hopefully I'm getting this all in the shot. I cannot see what the camera's actually seeing from here. But here it all is. And now I'm going to go through all this stuff in greater detail. And I'm having to record this on my laptop because I don't have... I don't have a camcorder, so I'm going to have to do it this way. Which is currently sitting on top of three other computers. Now, ignore this one. This is one that I found in the dumpster. That's not one of the ones that was given to me. However, these two on the left certainly are. So, this one is a quad-core or do trouble or something, I don't know. Yes, quad core Pentium D. It's a quad core Pentium D. With six gigabytes of RAM, or at least that's what I found when I turned it on and viewed the details in the control panel. Next to it, we've got this really old. Well, it's not so tiny, is it? Even though it says tiny, it's quite a big computer. This is only a Pentium 2 base machine, 266 megahertz. Forget how much RAM it has. Probably something like 32 megabytes, something like that. I didn't actually... Forgot to check that. It's got a few interesting features on it. I should have opened this up to show you what's inside, but we've got... On the back here, you might be able to see, if it would focus... And if I put the camera at the right point... This does actually have a video capture card in it. And, surprisingly... Running that at full 720 by 576, it doesn't even seem to lag that much. Well, it doesn't seem to lag at all, despite it's only having like 266 megahertz Pentium 2 in it, which is kind of interesting. Only records at 320 by 240, but it does do full 720 by 576 preview. Whereas this one doesn't have anything like that in it. So, next to it, three reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. Now, why am I shouting? So, on the far left, we've got a Philips... Where's this now? Philips N4308. I needs a little bit of work done on it because the, um, well, it plays back and records, but the speaker doesn't work, so I'll figure out what's going on with that. And then there's this Sony, which is the best sounding out of all the three. Unfortunately, it only records on the right channel, so I don't know what's going on with that. I've checked that both sides of the head are getting biased, and the R and the recording amplifier seems to work, it just doesn't seem to record on the left channel. I don't know why, so I'm going to have to investigate that a little bit further. And this one, which I have made a video of, I just haven't edited it yet, works absolutely perfectly fine with no trouble. Although, it's definitely not the best sounding of the three. And over here, some various speakers. So, I've got these two, which you saw in my previous video about the uh, microphone preamp tests. As this, well, it was this one here that you saw. This one here is the. Uh, other one to that, I've also got a couple of 
Yamaha monitor speakers, a pair of Sony's, these two are also amplified speakers, just like these two, and I've got that piece of crap over there, and these really weird, really long speakers, they sound pretty good though. So long, I cannot even get them in the shop. And my own speakers I bought several years ago. I don't know why the woofers. Oh yeah, because I opened these up to see what was inside them and I forgot to put the screws back. So that's everything all along the bottom here. Now this thing, I just found this in this shelving unit here. I have no idea what that is. Some kind of stove or something. I don't know what that is. But that's just something I found. Along with all this lot. So, anyway, over here. This is the other thing I got. Box full of all miscellaneous bits and pieces. And I can't seem to get the camera to shoot it. There's various bits and pieces in here. I've got transformers, I've got transistors, a few power supplies, I don't know what this was. Some Dell power supply, by the looks of things. 930 watts, that's that's pretty beefy. And over here, loads of old PC games and stuff that friend bought me around quite a while ago. That's nothing to do with any of this stuff, but um, I just thought I'd throw that in there to show you. The sad remains of one of my old camcorders. I might actually see if I can fire that up and place some tapes on it, but... So, that brings us to, um, well, all this stuff here. Now, I just want to take these capacitors out of the thing because, um, so you can see this stuff more. Look at these capacitors. 0.5 microfarad, 15,000 volts. Here where they originally were. Good thing they're discharged. I so would we'll not want to touch those if they've got any charge on them. Well, if they're charged anywhere near the full voltage anyway. Uh, don't know what these would have been used for originally. See if I can make a can crusher with those. That might be an upcoming project. Now, what else? Oh, yeah. Um, take these transformers, put those back in that box, because that's where they originally were as well. <coughs> these will put out 48,000... Well... 4,800 4, volts. Or 4,800 volts. I cannot wait to power these up and do something with them. But, got to do this first, because I promised to show you this stuff in greater detail, so that's what I'm doing now. Oh, and uh, still got the green iMac up there. I will get round to testing that and seeing if that still works, because there's somebody who wants that. And when I have the time to get that tested, to see if it still works... I will get back to you on that. So, anyway, what have we got over here? Well, it's absolutely loads and loads of CD players and mini disc stuff. And at the bottom here, there's. I don't know what these are. Now, apparently, this thing is pretty valuable. I, 
have absolutely no idea what it is though, but um, been told to hold on to that. If you know what it is, then tell me, because I'm clueless. And down here is some kind of surround sound amplifier thing. It says audio video amplifier. Don't know if it's surround sound or not though. At least it's got a proper volume control on it, rather than one of those ones that just switches the volume in steps. I hate those. And various CD players. Some of these are quite interesting, actually. Um, this one, I think, might be a changer because it's rather big. I think I do have a CD changer in here somewhere. I know I've got a DVD changer. There's some pretty nice ones here, though. Apparently this one is worth quite a lot. This Marantz. Of course, I just haven't had the time to test these yet. I like the look of this one though, this Fortune. I'd like to know what this music on hold feature is all about. That might be interesting to find out. And on the top, a couple of little stereo systems. And a mini disc player. Well, player, recorder, you know. Nice thing about this one is it's a hi-fi separate, so I can plug that into my amplifier and things like that and use it, and I have, but just thought I'd brought it out here to show you, along with all the other stuff. So that's coming back into my room with me when I've done this video. So, what we got along here then? Well, this is my manky old DVD recorder which I think still works and here I've got a super VHS VCR which has still got a tape in it I tried this out the other day and I'm just absolutely amazed at the picture quality this thing is I mean, it's just absolutely astounding it's impossible to tell the difference between a recording and the original source you know, it's that good. So when Sonic Boom comes out over here, which I think it might already be actually, but I'm going to record all the episodes onto SVHS tape. And surprisingly, um, I don't know if this is one of the ones he gave me or not, but I tried playing an SVHS recording in this thing, and it played absolutely fine, even though it's just a standard VHS video recorder with really no special features on it at all, you know, just linear sound, ordinary VHS picture, only a two-head system, but, you know, that seemed to play alright on it. Over here, we've got various amplifiers. Yep, more amplifiers. Now this one, um, well, maybe it's not that one. I've got one that's a new Class A. I thought it was this one. Oh, it doesn't seem to be on there anymore. Unless... No. Nope. Well, you can have a look at that anyway. Oh, actually, I can get that on in the shot. And then I've got these four Promethean amplifiers. Don't know why this one seems to be a bit of a different colour, but I'm sure I can make use of those. Up here is another little stereo system with a mini disc and a CD player on it. This isn't part of it though. 
that's just a. Uh, actually, I don't know where I got that from. Put, stick that in there. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you all this stuff. Various metal bits and pieces. Like for instance, just what the hell is that thing? That donut-shaped thing. I've got a few car amplifiers, speakers, and whatnot. All kinds of things along there. And this is one of my most prized possessions now. A professional digital audio tape recorder, player, whatever you want to call it. That is some prof nice professional piece of gear right there. And under it, various tape decks, most of them are Denon, but um, apart from this one here, which is a Technics. I've actually got another one of these, which I found, which is over here. Under all this junk. I don't know what this is. I think that's a DVD recorder. I've got another tape deck there. That's one that I found as well. I'll just see what this is, because I've absolutely no idea what this is. I've forgotten. It's a class one laser project. Excuse the terrible camera work while I'm just turning this round. There we go. It says DVD video, so I don't know if that's a player or a recorder. It might just be a recorder. I haven't found that DVD changer that I've got there. Oh, uh, what can I stick that? Like I say, that's one of the bits and pieces that I found, so that wasn't one of the ones that was given to me. Oh, did I show all the DVD players that I've got here? I don't think I did, did I? I think these ones might actually be Blu-ray players. I'm not too sure about that, but um, I've got two of them. Some other just pretty much run-of-the-mill DVD players. Someone is talking about four play out there. I know I've got one that's a DVD changer. Oh, this is the one I was telling you about. Five DVD changer. I told you I got one. Sitting on top of the laser disc player. Yep, I've got one of those as well. Nice thing about this one is it plays both sides. You don't have to turn the disc over. Now I need is some good laser discs for it. It's not a DVD recorder. Lots of stuff in it. Oh, this is that new Class A amplifier. See? I have no idea what that means. New Class A. I know what Class A is, but... I don't know what it means by new Class A. Might be a nice amplifier to try out with super bass. Let's see what's on the back of this thing. I'm curious. Ah, oh, just pretty much standard connections there. And a fan. So, anyway, going back to the tape decks, there is one tape deck I really want to show you, which is this one down here, now I think this one is a professional tape deck because this thing has got XLR plugs on it like this Fostex does but it also has a CD player on it don't know if it records CDs or if it just plays them but there you go, and I've already taken up 19 minutes of recording time, so anyway, that's... I'm not going to bore you any longer. That's all the stuff. 
I still got a whole bunch of clearing out to do in this place. So anyway, I'll leave you now and until next time, goodbye.